Hey, David, thanks for joining me again with five fast facts. Today, something that comes up a lot with every client I've ever had. What do you do about employee misconduct? Uh, somebody does something bad in the workplace. And I, yeah, we could define bad as sexual misconduct, inappropriate words. It could just be something like he's breaking coffee cups in the kitchen for no reason. I mean, that's misconduct. It's weird, but it's misconduct. But what do you do? What would your lawyer tell you to do? And since we're lawyers, we're going to give you some advice uh, with the typical legal disclaimer that you should talk to a lawyer about the particular situation, et cetera. But here's some general advice. David, what's the first thing you need to do about employee misconduct, the preemptive thing you need to do? Yeah, I think the first thing happens before the misconduct happens, which is to have policies in place that are clear and document what is okay and what's not okay. So you want to have- uh, No breaking coffee cups. No breaking coffee cups. No sexual misconduct. No right. racism. No right. discrimination. Right all of that in your employee handbook so that it's clear where the line is and it's do documented so that if you need to rely on that documentation. Yeah, you know, I think we need one in our office about washing coffee cups. <laughs> I think that should be in our employee handbook. It's not, and I don't know that that's misconduct. That's just a, a, a Tom thing. Okay, so, and I think there are other people who agree with me. Second thing, really important here, document everything. Document things out the wazoo. Collect emails, get statements from people and write everything down. You got to make sure you have the right people involved and always have two people if you're doing an interview, but document everything in detail. Um, so I think that's a huge part of handling employee misconduct because if you don't document everything and you make a snap decision, you're going to get in trouble because uh, that employee is going to walk away unhappy, unsatisfied, and they could go see a plaintiff's lawyer, which is not ideal. And David, what's the third thing you need to do with employee misconduct? Yeah, it goes kind of hand in hand with the documentation, but you've got to do your investigation. You're not just taking one side of the story. You're talking to all the people involved, interviewing them and and um, figuring out kind of what happened from all sides. Fair. You're not just going to ask the party that's aggrieved, if there's an aggrieved party, in fact. You've got to ask the employee as well that's been accused of, of the misconduct or that's involved in misconduct. So ask everybody, get everybody's story, take a neutral stance. So... Uh, assuming you've done your investigation properly, you've had clear policies and you've documented everything and you now have your report done and it looks like this employee did commit misconduct, what do you do? Well, then you take some action that's appropriate to the circumstances. And, um, and that doesn't necessarily mean termination or suspension or even a performance improvement plan. Um, but it, you're, whatever action you take needs to be commensurate with the findings of that investigation. So if it's breaking coffee cups, Maybe it's a letter of reprimand and you say, look, you need to pay for the coffee cups and uh, see, have some counseling, some anger counseling about your coffee cup breaking. <laughs> uh, but I think the other piece of this, because employee uh, misconduct is really sensitive. You know, the employee is going to be embarrassed and the people who are involved may even be embarrassed as well that they were involved in the misconduct, even if they're not the ones committing it. So this is paramount in everything you do with collecting information with investigating and interviewing people, you've got to respect confidentiality. You've got to keep everything strictly confidential and make sure that everyone who you're talking to knows that it's confidential and that they respect each other's confidentiality as well to the extent that they know anything else about the case. So those are the five things that you can do that are easy. Uh, well, not easy, but top of mind and very simple and straightforward things to do when there's employee misconduct at work. And then you should call your lawyer and talk to your lawyer and make sure you've done everything right. Uh, and everything's buttoned down. Thanks, David. Absolutely. Thanks, Tom.